Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Boat Studio. In this series, we will be exploring a variety of flutter packages and will be learning how to use them in developing your Android applications. Now, today's widget of the day is widget with code view. This widget will help you to showcase your widget as well as its source code in a catalog format. So, now in this tutorial, we'll see how to add the dependencies and how to import the package and finally how to wrap this widget and using it. So, the syntax of widget with code view is very simple. Widget with code view is having two options, two compulsory parameters, namely child and source file path. The child will be containing a simple widget class. Okay, and in the source file path, it will be containing the path of that child. Not child, but you can say the path will be containing the relative path of that widget class. So, after using the widget with code package, you will be having such a preview on your screen. So, I have already built a Flutter project and in that, First, we'll go to pubs.yaml file and we will import our package under the dependencies. So, the name is widget with code view and its version number. As I have already imported it, so I have no need to import it again. Now, after this, first we'll create a project under the library. We'll create a folder named screens in which we will be keeping all our screens throughout this series. And I have created one simple class icon example because we will be showcasing a simple icon in the preview page. So that's why I have just created an icon example class in which I have positioned one icon at the center. Now we will import this class in our main.dart file and we will also import our widget with code view. Now after this in our class my app we are having a simple material app under which we will be having a scaffold, having an app bar, name, code to example or whatever name you want to give you can. And in the body, we will be having our widget with code view and its child will be our icon example. And in our source file path, I have given the relative path of icon example dot dot. dot. So, before running this project, there is one more thing to do that is, in our pubs.yaml file, we have to import this screen folder as an asset so that your Flutter project can know where to find that icon example.dart file. So, now you can run this project. So, now as you can see, we are having one code view example app bar in our scaffold and we are having a tabular format. We are having two tabs, one of preview which is showcasing our icon and on the second tab we are having our source code view of that icon example class. Now widget with code view provide us a floating action button in which there are default two action buttons. As you can see it is simply a zoom in and zoom out button. So if you click on the zoom, zoom in it will zoom in your source code view to make it properly visible to you. So that's all for today and if you find this tutorial helpful and informative then please do like and subscribe our channel. You can follow us on our Instagram named the Indian Innovation and you can follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter also. And thank you for watching and stay tuned and keep flattering.